What is up public schoolgoers? It's your boy Witty here with a tutorial video for Roblox Studios. So what we're going to be showing you today is how to make a Ferris wheel in Roblox Studios. So me and a friend here are trying to make a game that would hopefully go on to the front page. So in the game I built a theme park which of course all theme parks have like you know a Ferris wheel. So as you can see you can ride in it but for our game we can't have seats because that would just mess up the gameplay. So anyway, so you can ride it. It's pretty cool. So anyway, let's get into this video. Keep in mind though, it is like almost 2 in the morning for me. So bear with me, I'm extremely tired. As well as I'm trying to remember this whole video by memory. So bear with me. So what we're going to do first is this little area I'm going to work. You can work wherever you want. I recommend though having a spawn so you can always check your work. So first you're going to need to open properties and explorers. So you need to get those two open. And now you're going to need to go to home and click a part. This average part. Make sure I got this off. Make sure those are good. You don't have to do that right now but just checking. So what you're going to do is go under your explorer. Find this part right here right click it and go to insert object once you do that you're gonna click script and you're here so what I'm gonna do is I just always like doing this and I'm gonna push enter so you're in the second you know little part here for scripting now uh, I'm gonna put the link I don't know I'm too lazy so just paste it in here that's a script so I'll read it off for you just capital S spin capital speed equals the space there another space zero zero point zero one space dash dash how with a capital H fast the bay spins space experiment with it close period now you're gonna do another space right you're gonna type in while true do space script period parent period capital C F frame equals script period parent period C frame and you're gonna do another space here it's gonna be C frame dot new and zero comma zero comma zero close it and you're gonna do another I don't know are those die that periods I mean stars yeah make sure that stars here I bad I'm really sorry C frame dot from oh, I gotta open this let's close it for now so you can see it C frame dot from okay blah 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 I'll just add it in the description don't worry so make sure to add that in what that does is let's just move this a bit uh, I don't know if it has to be anchored if it's not we'll fix that just push play make sure it, this is why I always recommend just having a spawn next to your stuff so it helps easily and yeah you're gonna have to anchor it see it spins right see so like you did all that stuff with your script easy so the issue we're gonna have here is okay I always like to do it by 45 so I get a clear um, you know like clear measurements it's not off by not even two degrees because that's a huge difference when it comes to Roblox so make sure you rotate and do 45 because if you know basic math there you go you got it straight and it should spin so make sure to anchor that we're going to test it and yeah it looks good see it's spinning on its own all right so now that we got that what you're going to have to do is you're going to need to scale it uh, what I like to do and this is a really great asset is if you go into toolbox what you can type in is test dummy and you'll be able to get yourself a test spot you know for measurements so this is what a character in your game would look like so what you're gonna do it's gonna get your scale and just make it about this big. Alright. 
looks good make sure it's gonna be high enough and what you're gonna do now is you're gonna right click this actually what you might want to do first is you might want to do rotate which should be 30 push enter now you want to right click you don't you don't have to right click it on it but just in case copy go to rotate get the green one and copy I mean yeah, duplicate oh, sorry I'm tired Wait, it actually did oh, okay I know what the issue is now so if you have that issue or if you copy it I mean duplicate it it's gonna put it right on top which is just a pain and you don't want that so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go to I think collisions and just just click that let me check if that does that yes yeah, see if you take if you take collisions off now it, you know it won't do that so it's in it already so if you do 30 it's already in it so just do 30 again again so you're gonna make like I don't even know what you call it star or a sphere whatever you want to call it not duplicate that's weird okay and you got yourself one of these stars which looks you know pretty cool so um let me see what do you i'm trying to remember what you had to do if you had to group it or not i all right so you got yourself a star what you're gonna want to do is just cover this whole thing and you want oops i gotta make sure that you gotta make sure that your um Base plate is like locked, so just make sure it's locked so it doesn't accidentally like group with it. Make sure there's nothing in a way. Do that, and you're gonna group it. Cool. So if we make sure it's anchored, if we test it, let's go test it. It should be. See, it's moving. Just make sure to anchor that so it stands up. See, I mean that's what you're. You know, that's your Ferris wheel part, like a small part. Someone got that. What you're going to want to do is, I think, you're going to duplicate it. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate it. Alright. And you're going to move it just like that much try to remember to see down that looks like a ferris wheel kind of you're gonna want to like move your guy and get a good estimate of how big like why your thing is because you gotta make sure you know it ain't like that's pretty wide if you ask me so what you're gonna want to do is just move it a bit depending on how wide you want it see like this should be able to fit like about one or two people inside you well it's about like one to person about all right what you're going to want to do now is go into parts get, get a cylinder all right I'm gonna put it right here now I should make the game brighter that's a good idea so you can see what you're doing uh, how do you do that Oh, this is my bad. I can't see with this. Let's go to lighting. Oh, you gotta have properties. There we go. Now you can see what you're doing. So what I'm gonna do first, which actually helps me, is I'm gonna change the color of this. Which I'm gonna make it... Uh, let's make it red. Or maroon, whatever you want to call it. Okay, we're going to put it all the way through and try our best to scale with that. Trying to get a good scale where it's right in the middle. Make sure it's not like off. Even if it's off, no one's really going to notice. Alright, so yeah, it's pretty good. Now, what I like to do is I like to make it, if you want to make this like a nighttime one, and feel free to make this neon, like mix it lit up. Like see mine over there, it's it's neon. So what you're gonna do that? 
Let's go to Turial and go to Neon. You can change, you know, color or brightness later. Doesn't really matter at the moment. So, yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. All right, what you're going to have to do? Wait, I think you have to anchor this. Yeah, anchor that, and let's just give it a test. See if it's working good. All right. So yeah, it's it's working pretty good. It's a little off, but that ain't no biggie. Like we can fix that. What I like to do is I'm gonna name rename this to Axel. Oops. God, I'm so tired. Where's the L? Okay. You can name it Axis. Doesn't really matter. Make sure they're about the like same. Let's see. Scale. Can make it a little bigger. Size doesn't matter, you know. <laughs> and move it a bit here. All right, it's looking good. So make sure those are all anchored good. Let's give it a little test. See what's up with it. All right. See, it looks looking fine. All right. All right. So what you're going to have to do next is get yourself another cylinder. This one's going to be pretty small. Like compared to the other one. Okay, so what I like to do is put this one right here. This one's gonna be hard for you to remember, but it's okay. Um, you're gonna have to scale that to make sure it's just about like it's not touching. See, it's just a little bit off. And once you're done with that, move it up a bit. And you're going to have to go under let me think what it was you're gonna have to go under here make sure it's under part and you're gonna use all the stuff here so you're gonna have to go I think it's what was it surface or surface imports I think it's surface go under surface and you're gonna have to find a side see here's the left side right here left surface what you're going to add now is you're going to add a what was it? I think it's a hinge yeah a hinge pops out right there and what you're going to do is you're going to have to find the right surface side which is the complete opposite and you're going to add a hinge so you got hinges on both sides now you're going to have to do something up here I think it was trying to remember because if it does right I think right uh, let me think you're going to have to what was it okay just get the scale push oh wait I know what it is it's uh, collisions, I think. Yeah, just make sure to do collisions and push that against it where it's like not all the way in, but just right about in. And put this one in. Good. Now you should have two um, rotate right here. It should say rotate, right? So we're going to test it to make sure it works. And. Yeah, okay, you gotta wait here. Here's the one issue with this is that I know it's not doing right, but you gotta give it just like a couple minutes. So if you put this um in game, I would recommend you put it possibly where it's not next to a spawn, which would give it time before someone actually like finds it. Cause I don't know why, and I think it's just Roblox Studios, and I can promise you it will fix itself. Is it just like f sits there for like a minute and I don't know why but hold on just like give it like see it does that 
See, it's connected on there. So just don't worry. It will fix. I legit, when I was doing this, I got so upset. And I spent like two hours trying to figure out why it wasn't doing it. And I was like, so I showed my friend and she was like, it works fine. Just wait a minute. I was like, okay. I waited a minute. I was like, oh, wow. So it's fine. Don't worry. All right. So what you want to do, make sure it's about centered. Uh, the one issue you're going to have with that is it's going to be the collisions. Just click that so you can move it. See, you got to make sure it has two rotates on it for left and right side. And move it in a bit. Now, I like to, I would recommend, you can customize the color later, but what I would recommend is you just have it to color whatever, you know, to the axle, which would be that. And you can, you can even change it. Uh, neon later customization you don't gotta worry about it right now so once you got that you're going to have to get another um, another cylinder put it like this right and try to get it right underneath all right I think you might have to add another hinge to it. I can't remember. Let me try to remember. But you're going to have to get this here. I don't think you need a hinge. Because you already have a hinge. But make sure your joint surfaces is on. That's, I think that's it. So uh, you might want to scale this a little thinner. Because it's supposed to be like little pipes. It's not supposed to be like as thick as like a regular one. All right. Put that under here. Make sure it's pretty even. You can adjust it later, don't worry. I'll make sure it's scaled a bit long. Just remember, in when you like continue on, don't worry. So make sure to duplicate this pipe part right here move it now you can see it's starting to look like you know something that would hold something so what I'm going to do is just test it it might fall probably just bear with me here oh dude it fell okay um, okay so let's just keep going don't worry gonna get a block part going to put it right here and you're gonna make it skinny like the border or something and you're gonna make a box like right around this I don't know what I just did that was weird okay So make a box around it. See, so it should be like right on the edge. So let me move it here. It's good. Scale this. Looks good. Duplicate. Go all the way over here. See, there we go. See, as you do this, it, you adjust it and it works. And oh, it's a little way out. There we go, just like right here. Looking good. Snazzy. Alright. Duplicate him. Over here. Let's see, is that, how far is that? Yeah, I can adjust that a bit. All right, got your box. Now what I like to do is I like to make the sides extra thick. These right here. All right, do that and bring it down. Uh, what I like to do to help me really know the um, size I'm doing is what I'm gonna do is go into model. I don't know if this is gonna work because it's 
might be too small. Go to move one and do it two times. One, two. And I think is that enough? Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do both sides, all four. Duplicate this one, take this off, go all the way down into the side. Now you got a a floor. Okay, make sure and test this out here. Gonna make sure your dude can fit inside. If you want it bigger for two people. I don't really recommend that, but see, this can fit at least one dude in it. See, my my bars are off just a bit. What we're gonna do with that. Uh, we're gonna adjust it a bit. Gonna move this. Equal right there. All right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, move the whole thing that we just made. I'm unsure. Let me think if I had to group this. Yeah, I think you have to group this. Okay, put it back. Make sure to go under your model you just made and make sure that your part, this right here, has both rotate under it. So we're going to test it to make sure that works. Bear with me if it doesn't because I'm extremely tired. It's already like 2 in the morning now. And let's see. Oof, what the hell? Okay, I don't know why that didn't. Try grouping out again. Just don't mind with me, I'm trying to test around. Probably didn't work. Okay, let's just like give it a second. Give it a second. Take time to admire my outfit. It's nice, isn't it? Alright. See like how it's like horrible that you had to wait there? It's like really dumb. Yeah, okay. How to do Just make sure try grouping that again. Nah, that didn't work the first time. What is the issue? Um Oh, okay, I know what the issue is. You need, what you're going to need to do, go under your home, go into toolbox, and I think you need to type a weld script. Don't worry. So, go in here, weld, oh my god, weld script, wait a minute, I'm typing in a wrong spot. Dude, I told you I'm tired. Okay, go under here, your toolbox. Type in weld, get that out of the way so you can see. Script. Alright, that's your weld script. You gotta just wait a minute. And the one you're gonna get is. What was it? I think it's the first one. Yeah, get your first one. Click that. What you're gonna do? Just go to your little part. Click it. I think. I'm trying to remember, I'm sorry. I think that's it. Let me like see what I'm doing. Where's my see this is what I hate about Roblox too. I'm trying you can't even see it. Okay, you're gonna have to find the weld script in here, I think. So, like, just back out. Go to your toolbox. Oh, okay, I know what you gotta do. You gotta add it. 
get your weld scrip find it under here scroll oh, it's a pain in the butt okay so remember this cube perfection so click your boy here it's you gotta make sure you find it. it's right here go to Q uh, see I, like you can see I already used it before Ah, uh, that's a pain okay so what you're going to have to do is I'm gonna just rename this because you don't don't rename yours but due to me having another uh, thing in here just let me oh god did I stop recording you okay, know I didn't so go in here don't do anything because this is for my own sake you had to click I mean what I'm gonna do is just oh my gosh See that's the script right here. Uh Okay, you're gonna need the this for me for my own sake. Okay, so we know which one it is. Oh I pff, I'm dumb. You should just rename this. Uh we're gonna name this. Make sure to name this helps you. Just do um cart. Okay, there you go. So, ah, oh I just lost my thing. I'm dumb. Uh, I think I named the Q. So here it is, right here. This one. What you're going to have to do is get your thing right here, your Q script, and add it to your cart. I'm just gonna have to find it. Oh, here it is, right here. Just add it in like that. I think. Alright, so add it in. This should keep it from falling apart. So make sure you get, you type it in here, get it there, and just move it to your model, which should be your cart. And now once you do that, you're going to... Um... You're gonna have to get your thing, and just to verify it works, I'm gonna make sure and push play. Make sure my um, carts stick together. See, look, it's stuck together, which is great. Okay, so it works. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure your model's open when you're doing this. So you're gonna go put it back. In this part right here, make sure that's this one right here has the two rotates welds on it. So now it should hold. And we're gonna test it just for fun. You know, you should always test your work because you may have to anchor something, making sure. Yeah, okay, it should work. See, this is a really pain in the butt. And so with Roblox Studios, it just—it's not the script. It's just. Roblox Studios. I mean, it might be the script, but I doubt. But don't worry. If this happens, it will fix and your game should be okay. So, we're going to wait here a minute. <sighs> Give it a second. Roblox Studios, you know. I right, see it works. See, sometimes it freezes, but don't worry. Eventually, it will like fix itself. Or is that actually my error? I think that's Roblox. It could be that I made it where it doesn't fit right, but I really doubt. Let's just check it again. Yeah, that might be mine. Let me check. Okay, yeah, that that pro that is my issue because you can see if you don't make sure of this because see this is the part it can it's hitting right here. So what we're going to have to do this might ruin it. I would be wait actually go to the part that's the issue. You're gonna have to move this part right here, this right here. And what part is that? It's right here. So move that in a bit. And move, find the part that's this one. 
and move it right here. I'll do this a little more. Just like f for safety. Okay. And yeah, your, your, your side should be fine now the way I did it. Alright. Give it a test. Make sure it's not anchored, alright? If you have an issue where it's not, it's probably because you're anchored. Alright. We're gonna have to wait again. Don't worry. We're almost done, I swear. I mean, it's already starting to look like a Ferris wheel. It's pretty cool. And I can see this part. I'm going to have to adjust that right there. You can see it's a little off, a little crooked. Ain't no biggie. As long as it's connected. Okay, see that? Yeah, it's fixed now. It's actually running the way. I'm going to have to bring this up a bit, which is not a big issue. See, now it works. Okay, so one thing you're going to have to do with this, which is really important. How are you going to get inside? Unless you want to jump in. This is just a preference, which I prefer. Find whatever side you're going to um, have your people get in. It can either be the right or left, but for mine, as you can see over there, it's the left side to get on the ramp. You're going to have to find the left side of your cart. Okay, how much you going to fix this a little bit? There you go. You're going to find the left side of your cart. Should be this one. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to go under on your properties and make sure you click right here, can collide. It's off, right? So now you can actually, it won't collide, chance, you know, you can go in. All right, so take your whole part and put it right on there. All right, cool. Now what you're gonna do is if you're, you're gonna duplicate it, all right, and just add it to everyone. Make sure it's centered, okay? Like, don't have it too high. Just make sure it's centered around each. This is gonna, you know, a pain in the butt process, but I'm gonna have to do this. Okay, make sure it's centered on. Looks good. Oops. Okay, duplicate that. Okay, looking good. Center. I'm gonna make this go faster than the bottom. Oh yeah, okay, just make sure it's on the end. Don't worry, we'll bring the whole thing up. Okay, it's there. One thing you should do, which I just didn't do, is we kind of did, but which you might want to extra, you know, re-verify is the size of the cart. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Okay. Duplicate. Okay. And duplicate this one. I know this is such a boring process. Oops. Note, if you accidentally ever do something, like let's say I accidentally move this, don't try to readjust it, just click right here the arrow and just fix it like completely perfect so just in case you accidentally mess something up just do that okay and it's on and there's a couple f me a few more cool okay now if you want to add seats you can but for mine I'm not I'll have to show you how to put seats in. You should probably do seats before you do this. You just gotta go under insert part. I th you just gotta like go here. Oh no, you gotta go here. Which is just random part. Pretend this is your cart. Just go here, insert object, and I think it's seat. Yeah, just click seat and you should be fine. But. I ain't gonna do that. Okay, now it's all on. Just 
if it's this is like the part where you just see we always adjust don't worry so if you think like oh why is it messed up earlier on in the video see it's all adjusted now make sure it's off the ground just a bit I would recommend you put it up a little more like this high I know that seems really high but when you add a ramp it's gonna look normal alright so don't group at all just like let's keep it like that right and we're gonna test it it's gonna look all cool now again it's gonna look really messed up at first see like mine over there it's not even spinning with the carts so it's gonna do the same here which is a really pain in the butt but due to the game that we're working on um, it's gonna load 20 seconds in before players actually get to it so it should be fine so it's no big worry for me but if it's a big worry for you what I do recommend is you might want to put this towards the back of your map or farther away from your spawn because once at least one person gets in the game then it should always be like running so it's not like it depends on when you spawn in the game it just depends who's the first person in the game I don't think this would cause m this doesn't cause much lag see now it's kind of messed up which that's why I recommend you put it towards the back but it fixes itself pretty fast it took like about 30 seconds to fix see works pretty good so why I said a trans I don't think I can jump but see the sides gonna be transparent so you can just walk right into it which is really nice alright so next step you're going to want to do is hmm okay this is what I'm gonna do and this is probably the easiest way you're gonna duplicate this all right. Oh, why does it keep doing that? I don't want that. Okay, duplicate that axle or axis. Okay, what I'm gonna do before I do anything is just change it to a a color, right? And I'm taking to take the neon off because, I mean, I recommend that. This like legit, you can't see anything. So we're gonna just add it to um metal. All right. You're gonna do the scale just to get it out a bit. What you want to do is you want to make it smaller. I recommend a smaller size, but again, size doesn't matter. Okay, get it about that big. Make sure it's pretty center. I hate when Roblox does this where it's like if you want to like scale, I mean, uh, rotate it or move it, it's not straight like up and down. I don't know why it does that. But so what I'm going to have to do with that is I'm going to use a model again 30 and just rotate that that should fix it see it fixes it all right take that off Wait, actually yeah keep that for a minute what you're gonna do is you're going to rotate it this way not just like play with it a bit you can do it as much as you want see this is gonna be the um right here you see these the poles that hold it see it can be whatever you want I mean, this is pretty huge to me like too wide so what I'm going to do is going to do another 30 and we're just going to put it right here it doesn't really matter if it's doing you know whatever so just put it in and pull it down looks really good the one issue you're going to have to probably have which you can adjust this is always remember is that you're always going to be able to adjust later on it's not like you can't fix it so it might be the ramp I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue, but don't worry. So, we're going to actually duplicate this again. We're going to rotate it back how it original was. Going to uh, rotate it for... Ah, oh, that's what I hate, so you can't move it. So, just rotate it like this. Go up where it's right there, about the top of that. Go in. Uh, I can't remember how much it was. Doesn't really matter. And rotate it twice. And now you can put it in there. Uh, I'm going to bring it up a bit out. See, it looks good. I'm going to change the color to look more like realistic because I don't know which ones are like black that dark looks kind of weird and you can always adjust this right here it doesn't really matter just make sure 
Okay, if you're adding it to your game, then make sure it's always here. But this is like I'm making a model, and I want to put it maybe over there. So don't really worry about this size. I recommend making it smaller if you're going to move it. But if you want to just keep it right here, because this is where your game's going to be, then yeah, you don't got to worry about that. So I'm going to make it, let's see, material. Due to our game, all our materials are either, um, I think, plastic. So yeah, it doesn't you can make whatever you want. I recommend plastic or metal. So we'll just metal. Gonna bring it a normal color. Could be a little dark. That looks cool. Make this side. This what color was that? Um, the color. I think that was it. Yeah. So see, it looks pretty cool. Uh, you're gonna have to anchor. Make sure those two are anchored, because those are not part of the cylinder. This axle right here doesn't actually spin. It just you know these part. Oops, don't spin. It's just. I mean, you don't even need these parts for it to work, but it just you know looks more real and correct. So <clears throat> you're gonna have that. All right. And what you're going to now do is the wrap. So what you're gonna get apart. You're gonna make sure. What I like to do is I like to put it up to this, so I have a good estimate, so it's not rubbing against it. So get the scale. Uh, put it about this far. Okay, we're gonna try doing the same over here. So I like. That's why I like using this. Gotta give her a shout out to that. Make sure it's just right. All right. So it's one over. And we're gonna have one over. All right, we're gonna go down a bit. I like to make this like a concrete, which looks pretty cool. Oh, I forgot we can use concrete in our building. So go to concrete. Have it. A, what was it over? Okay, you just have it long. Okay. You're gonna duplicate that. You're gonna bring this up and just over a bit. You can have it how much you want, it doesn't really matter. See, like this, this ain't the ramp, this is the opposite side. But if you bring this part over here, oops, did I group that? Oh, I don't know why that keeps always doing that. So, duplicate the side just made. Okay, that might be a little high. See, here's the one issue, as I said, you can have that issue, which is like a pain. Hmm. If you want it wire, which looks a little weird, you can, but I'm going to try to figure out how to do this. Oh, yeah, I know how to do this. Okay. So make this side right here a bit thinner, right? And what you're going to get is a um, wedge. Oops. Okay, make sure it's like this, as you can see. Go over here. Um, put this down. It's touching. It's very frat, you know. Gotta make sure, okay. So, it's gonna be basically the ramp right here. Um... You don't have to worry about like how you just add another brick under it. So like, don't be like, oh, how's someone gonna supposed to walk up that? That's crazy. I know that is. You can make this a little bit smaller if you want, so you get a more less steeper ramp. Okay. Now I know you're like, how oh, what? Just don't worry. Bring this. All right. I'm gonna grab that. Duplicate it. Uh, okay, so what I just did is I duplicated, right? I'm gonna bring the end of this side, bring it to here, and bring this side over here. So like I don't have to move it. See, so see, so just like an accordion or whatever. I don't know. So make sure this is lined up with both. Okay, and bring it down to where it's right here. Now it's starting to look like a real ramp. 
Now what you can do is if you bring it over here, that's going to be an issue. I'm going to probably fix that. Get another wedge. Okay. Put it right here. Okay. And this time you can actually do this one. And just make it longer, you know, so it's less steep. And have it all the way up to here. You could... Oh yeah, if you want to fix it, like don't like this gap, which doesn't really matter. Just bring your block right here. Duplicate it. Oops. Okay, duplicate this one. Go down here. And just a bit down. It fixes it. See? You don't even see it. So yeah, that's how you make your wrap. It looks actually pretty decent, I guess. I don't know. Normally it looks better. Like I'll show you the one I made. See, like, I have to make it much wider where you have two ramps, right? If you want to do that, just add a wedge here, long um, brick here, add a regular one, you know, another brick right here, and just add a wedge right here, so it looks pretty fine. Okay. Go back to our thing right here. It's looking pretty decent now. Looks like a real, you know looks pretty real um I I really don't recommend you messing with this I was okay make sure that I thought it disappeared I don't really recommend you messing with these like this is no I mean you can probably tap around and try to add some stuff around if you want to add um, colors like make it look like mine which which you can is just mess with these what I mean like don't ungroup these that's gonna mess it up so just find your thing on here it's right here go under here go under your model this is your cart model and just like find the part so if you wanna like move like change this you can just uh, change it to neon which makes it look like it's like lit up, which is pretty cool. Alright. So it looks pretty decent. Let me see if it looks like mine. There's something wrong. Like it looks different. It's just a color, that's why it looks so bland, like so weird. So don't worry about that. Right, so that's the Ferris wheel. Don't worry, I will add a script in the description. And I'll also add the um, welding thing. So let's just give it a test. Make sure it's all cool and dandy. Remember, it's going to always have that issue. Just like legit nothing you can fix about it with the, um, with the stuff. I don't know why it's not loading. Oh, that's a pain. Okay, there we go. See, like, it's, it's always going to do... Oh, you make sure you... Yeah, I forgot that. But it's always good to test your stuff so you know what you're doing. Alright, see? Might want to bring this up a bit and a little thinner. So that's the one issue I just had. So see, this side... Wait, did I have the right side? I don't know. We're going to have to just adjust that. It's a little too wide. Gotta make it a little... Make it look even... Um, okay, I know one issue you're going to have to fix. Okay, make sure that's right. Make sure that's down. What you're going to have to do... Uh, it's a pain. You just have to bring it up. This whole thing. Unless, unless like, you don't want to. You can just... Uh, make sure... What I like to do is always... Okay, sorry. What you're going to have to do... I'm going to make sure recording. Is you're going to have to... What I always do is click one or two. doesn't matter. Bring this whole thing and just move it down where it looks... See, now it's right on this, so I'm going to walk both sides too. Uh, you're going to have to make sure these are anchored so it doesn't mess up. Everything's anchored. We're going to give it a play. Okay. 
Okay. Give it a, a second again. Maybe two. Just want to say like how cool my dude looks like. Some boxers. Uh huh. Metallica shirt. I don't know. Everyone's wearing this. I think it's pretty cool. I decided to put two because you know why not. Everyone's wearing one. Yeah, fix it. Don't worry. See, your ramp works just fine. Okay, now that all this got in, you can always bring closer. But now that you see it's, it's um, you can just get on the side. I think I made it too small. Well, it doesn't really matter. That's the first. What you're gonna have to probably do is just add like um, make a non collide for your right side. See, it works just fine. If you want to add a seat. Feel free to. Yeah, I made it pretty small. You might want to add a seat. So remember, if you want to add a seat, it's pretty easy. But, yeah, I'm too lazy to do it. It's just a simple tutorial, remember. So, yeah, just adjust it. You know, have some fun with it. And, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I, yeah, just leave a like. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe because, you know, who likes someone doing that? But, yeah, please subscribe. Anyway, see you.